Sigma males often find themselves under intense scrutiny and criticism in societal narratives. As individuals who often eschew traditional hierarchies and social norms, Sigma males are perceived as enigmatic figures who defy categorization. Their independent and introspective nature, coupled with a preference for autonomy over conformity, challenges conventional expectations of masculinity and social behavior. This deviation from the norm can provoke discomfort or suspicion among those who value conformity and stability within social structures. Critics may view Sigma males as aloof, arrogant, or even threatening due to their reluctance to conform to societal expectations or engage in traditional power dynamics. Moreover, their self-reliant and introspective tendencies may be misunderstood as a rejection of community or cooperation, further exacerbating criticisms of their character and motivations. Despite these perceptions, Sigma males often navigate their own paths with resilience and authenticity, driven by a desire for personal freedom and a steadfast commitment to their individual values and principles. Number 26 During a weekend stay at a small, isolated hotel nestled in the mountains, I experienced a chilling encounter in the dead of night. As I lay in bed, the silence of the remote location was shattered by the sound of faint, rhythmic breathing just outside my window. At first I dismissed it as the wind or an animal roaming the grounds, but as the night wore on, the breathing persisted, growing louder and closer, echoing through the stillness of the night. With growing unease, I approached the window cautiously, heart racing, and peered into the darkness. There, illuminated faintly by moonlight, I glimpsed a shadowy figure standing just beyond the glass, staring intently back at me. Fear gripped me as I hastily drew the curtains shut and retreated from the window, the sensation of being watched lingering long after the breathing ceased. The mysterious encounter left me shaken questioning what unseen presence had ventured so close to my solitude in the quiet isolation of the mountain hotel. Number 25 During my time working the night shift at a 24-hour convenience store, I encountered a man whose unsettling smile seemed to follow me throughout the shift. He'd appear sporadically on the store's security footage, always at odd hours when the store was empty. His presence never registered on the entrance logs, and customers never acknowledged him. One night, as I was closing up, I saw him standing just outside the store, staring with that same eerie smile. I locked the doors immediately, but when I checked the security footage, he wasn't there. The next day, reviewing the footage with my manager, we found no trace of him. To this day, I wonder if he was real or a figment of my exhausted imagination, but his presence still haunts me. Number 24 One Summer a group of friends and I decided to explore an old, abandoned hospital on the outskirts of town. The building stood derelict for decades, rumored to be haunted by the spirits of patients who died there under mysterious circumstances. As we ventured deeper into the decaying halls, we heard faint whispers and footsteps echoing around us. In one room, we found an old journal detailing bizarre medical experiments conducted in secret. Suddenly, the air grew colder, and we felt an intense presence watching us. We fled the building, shaken by what we had uncovered. The experience left us questioning the history of the hospital and the secrets it still holds within its crumbling walls. Number 23 While working the graveyard shift at a convenience store, I came across a mysterious note left on the counter one night. It was written in a hurried scrawl, warning me not to look back. The surveillance footage showed a man entering the store, placing the note, and then disappearing from view. Despite reviewing the footage multiple times, there was no sign of him leaving the store. The note's message left me unsettled for the rest of the shift, constantly glancing over my shoulder, wondering who had left it and why. Number 22 During a road trip through the countryside, I stopped at a small diner for a break. Inside, I noticed a peculiar atmosphere quiet, with only a few patrons scattered around. As I ordered my meal, I overheard hushed conversations about a local legend involving strange occurrences in the nearby woods. Curiosity piqued, 
I asked the waitress, who nervously shared tales of inexplicable lights and eerie sounds heard by campers. Before leaving, I found a cryptic note tucked under my plate, advising me to avoid venturing alone into the woods at night. The encounter left me with a lingering sense of unease, wondering about the mysteries hidden in the quiet, isolated corners of rural towns. Number 21, during a road trip through a remote stretch of highway, I stopped at a deserted rest stop late at night to stretch my legs. As I walked towards the restroom, I noticed a shadowy figure standing near the edge of the woods, watching me intently. Their presence felt ominous, sending a chill down my spine. I hurried back to my car, locking the doors and keeping a wary eye on the figure. Just as I prepared to leave, another car pulled in, its headlights revealing no one at the edge of the woods. The figure had vanished without a trace, leaving me shaken by the eerie encounter and questioning what I had truly seen in the darkness that night. Number 20 During a weekend getaway at a friend's cabin nestled deep in the mountains, I woke to the sound of persistent knocking on the cabin door at 3 a.m. The knocks were slow and deliberate, echoing through the silent woods. My friend and I exchanged nervous glances, unsure of who could be outside at such an hour. When we mustered the courage to open the door, there was no one in sight, only the faint rustling of leaves in the wind. We searched the perimeter but found no footprints or signs of anyone nearby. The unsettling experience left us questioning whether it was a prank, an animal, or something more mysterious lurking in the darkness of the mountain night. Number 19 One late evening, while working alone in my office building, I stepped into the elevator to head home. As the doors closed, I noticed a strange sensation, a chilling draft and faint whispers that seemed to echo from within the elevator shaft. Pressing the button for the ground floor, the elevator jolted to a stop between floors, leaving me trapped in the dimly lit space. Panic set in as the whispers grew louder, unintelligible yet unsettling. Just as suddenly as it had stopped, the elevator resumed its descent, finally reaching the ground floor without further incident. The experience left me shaken, haunted by the eerie encounter and the inexplicable phenomenon that had occurred within the confines of the seemingly ordinary elevator. Number 18. While driving through a remote area late at night, my car suddenly broke down, leaving me stranded on a deserted stretch of road. With no signal on my phone, I sat in the darkness, hoping for passing headlights or any sign of help. In the silence, a figure emerged from the shadows at the edge of the woods, watching me with an intensity that sent shivers down my spine. I locked the doors, keeping a wary eye on the figure as it slowly approached. Just as it drew near, another car appeared, its headlights illuminating the scene and causing the figure to retreat back into the darkness. Help arrived, but the memory of that menacing figure at the deserted rest stop haunted me long after I resumed my journey, leaving me to wonder about the mysteries that lurk in the isolated corners of the night. Number 17 One evening, while relaxing on my porch enjoying the cool breeze, I noticed a car parked down the street with its headlights off. It seemed out of place in our quiet neighborhood, but I didn't think much of it initially. As the night progressed, the car remained stationary, piquing my curiosity. I considered calling the police, but before I could act, the car suddenly turned on its headlights and sped off into the darkness. Days later, I spotted the same car parked outside my house again, lingering for hours without any apparent reason. The unnerving presence of the car and its mysterious occupants left me on edge, wondering about their intentions and the strange events unfolding in my usually peaceful neighborhood. Number 16 During a weekend stay at a small, isolated hotel, I experienced an eerie encounter late one night. As I lay in bed, trying to sleep, I heard faint breathing coming from outside my window. At first I dismissed it as the wind or my imagination, but the rhythmic sound persisted, growing louder and closer. With growing unease, I approached the window and cautiously peered outside, only to find nothing but darkness and the faint outline of trees swaying in the night. 
The experience left me unsettled, questioning whether it was a trick of the wind or something more inexplicable lingering just beyond the reach of my understanding. Number 15. I have always been drawn to stories involving old, abandoned buildings and the mysteries they hold. One memorable adventure with friends took us to an eerie, dilapidated mansion rumored to be haunted by a tragic past. As we explored the decaying rooms and corridors, we felt a palpable sense of unease, as if the walls themselves held secrets waiting to be uncovered. In one room we discovered a collection of old photographs and journals detailing the lives of the mansion's former inhabitants. The atmosphere grew more intense as dusk approached, and we couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. Despite our apprehension, we delved deeper into the mansion's history, uncovering tales of love, loss, and betrayal that seemed to echo through the silent halls. The experience left us awestruck by the mansion's haunting beauty and the lingering mysteries that still remain hidden within its crumbling walls. Number 14. I've always been captivated by stories set in small towns, where the line between reality and folklore often blurs. One such tale involved a mysterious figure that would appear on foggy nights near an abandoned churchyard. Locals whispered about sightings, describing a shadowy silhouette that seemed to vanish into thin air. Intrigued, I ventured to the churchyard one misty evening, hoping to unravel the truth behind the legend. As the fog rolled in, I caught glimpses of movement among the gravestones, accompanied by faint whispers carried on the chilly breeze. The experience left me spellbound, questioning the boundaries between myth and reality in the quaint yet enigmatic town. Number 13 stories involving mysterious discoveries and suspenseful atmospheres have always held a special fascination for me. One memorable adventure took me and my friends deep into the heart of an ancient forest rumored to conceal hidden treasures. Armed with an old map found in a dusty library, we navigated dense undergrowth and towering trees, guided by whispers of lost riches and forgotten secrets. As we ventured further, the forest grew eerily quiet, save for the rustling of leaves and distant echoes that seemed to beckon us onward. Suddenly, we stumbled upon a weathered stone marker, confirming we were on the right path. Excitement mingled with trepidation as we pressed forward, anticipating what we might uncover in the heart of the mysterious forest. Number 12 dilapidated structures and mysterious figures have often featured prominently in the stories that captivate me. One particularly chilling tale centered around an abandoned cabin nestled deep within a secluded valley. The rumors spoke of strange occurrences and ghostly apparitions haunting the cabin's desolate halls. Intrigued by the mystery, I ventured to the cabin with a group of adventurous friends, armed with flashlights and nerves of steel. As we explored the crumbling interior, shadows danced along the walls, and eerie whispers seemed to echo through the empty rooms. Suddenly, a faint light flickered in the attic, drawing us closer to uncover a hidden journal filled with cryptic writings and faded sketches. The discovery left us trembling with excitement and apprehension, unraveling a story of betrayal and tragedy that had remained hidden for decades within the cabin's decaying walls. Number 11, I've always been drawn to stories that intertwine dilapidated structures with mysterious figures, creating an atmosphere thick with suspense. One such tale unfolded in a forgotten corner of our town, where an abandoned mansion stood cloaked in shadows and secrets. Local lore whispered of a spectral presence haunting its crumbling corridors, leaving a trail of inexplicable events in its wake. Intrigued by the mystery, a group of friends and I embarked on a moonlit exploration of the mansion, armed with curiosity and caution. As we navigated the overgrown grounds and breached the mansion's weathered threshold, a chill settled over us, accompanied by the faint echo of whispers in the stale air. Shadows danced along the walls, and fleeting glimpses of movement tested our nerves, drawing us deeper into the heart of the mansion's enigma. What we uncovered that night blurred the line between legend and reality, leaving us forever changed by the spectral secrets that lay hidden within the abandoned mansion's decaying embrace. 
Number 10 tales of mysterious maps and forbidden territories have always held a particular allure for me, beckoning with promises of adventure and discovery. One such story began with the discovery of an ancient map tucked away in the attic of a long-forgotten estate. Its faded parchment traced intricate pathways through uncharted wilderness and whispered of untold treasures buried beneath the earth. Intrigued by the map's cryptic symbols and faded ink, I embarked on a solitary quest to follow its winding trails and unravel the mysteries it held. Guided by moonlight and the map's elusive clues, I navigated dense forests and treacherous terrain, each step bringing me closer to the heart of the forbidden territory. As I delved deeper into the unknown, the air grew heavy with anticipation, and the landscape seemed to shift with every passing moment. What I ultimately discovered challenged my perception of reality, weaving a tale of forgotten civilizations and lost legacies that lingered on the fringes of myth and memory. Number 9 working the night shift at our town's only diner was usually quiet, but one night I noticed a man sitting in a booth, staring at me. His intense gaze seemed to pierce through the dimly lit ambience, unnerving me despite the familiar comfort of the diner's surroundings. As I went about my routine tasks, his presence remained a constant, his unreadable expression casting a shadow over the otherwise mundane night. Curiosity mingled with unease as I wondered about his story and the reasons behind his solitary vigil in the deserted diner. When he finally approached me, his voice carried an unexpected urgency, unraveling a tale of chance encounters and lost dreams that echoed long after the diner's doors closed for the night. Number 8. The allure of mysterious journals and writings has always held a magnetic pull in the stories that captivate me. One such narrative began with the discovery of an ancient journal hidden within the walls of an abandoned cabin deep in the heart of the wilderness. Its yellowed pages bore faded ink and cryptic passages, hinting at a forgotten history and untold secrets buried beneath layers of time. Intrigued by the journal's enigmatic contents, I embarked on a journey of unraveling its mysteries, tracing the footsteps of its long-lost author through rugged landscapes and treacherous terrain. Each turn of the page revealed new revelations and unforeseen challenges, weaving a tale of intrigue and suspense that mirrored the untamed wilderness surrounding the abandoned cabin. As I delved deeper into the journal's narrative, the lines between past and present blurred, illuminating a path fraught with danger and discovery in the pursuit of uncovering the truth hidden within its weathered pages. Number seven people often misunderstand Sigma males for their reserved nature, mistaking silence for ignorance or shyness. Sigma men are selective about when they speak, valuing meaningful conversation over small talk. They observe carefully and contribute thoughtfully, preferring to share insights only when they can add value to the discussion. This deliberate approach can be misconstrued as aloofness or arrogance by those who expect constant verbal engagement. However, Sigma males prioritize substance over quantity in communication, choosing authenticity and depth in their interactions. Number six Sigma males defy societal norms that equate status with value. While others may be impressed by titles or wealth, Sigma men focus on character and integrity. They don't chase after superficial markers of success or seek validation through social hierarchies. This independent mindset can draw criticism from those who thrive on status-seeking behaviors. Some may perceive Sigma males as disrespectful or unambitious for not conforming to traditional expectations of admiration towards high-status individuals. However, Sigma men prioritize genuine connections and personal values over external markers of success. Number 5 Sigma males are discerning when it comes to friendships, valuing quality over quantity. They prefer deep, meaningful connections with like-minded individuals who respect their need for independence. This selectivity can be misunderstood as aloofness or arrogance by those who prefer larger social circles or superficial interactions. Sigma men prioritize authenticity in relationships, avoiding shallow connections and toxic influences. 
This intentional approach to friendship may lead others to perceive them as standoffish or judgmental, but Sigma males are simply protective of their time and energy, choosing genuine connections over superficial popularity. Number four, Sigma males embrace unpredictability and independence, which can unsettle those accustomed to conformity. They refuse to follow societal norms blindly and are unafraid to challenge the status quo. This nonconformist attitude is driven by a desire for understanding and improvement, rather than rebellion for its own sake. Their willingness to question norms and take risks can be perceived as intimidating or disruptive by those who prefer stability and predictability. Some may criticize Sigma males for their unpredictable nature, viewing it as a lack of social skills or a rejection of societal expectations. Number three, Sigma males possess a natural curiosity and a drive to challenge established norms and beliefs. They question the status quo and seek alternative perspectives, often leading to criticism from those who prefer conformity. This intellectual independence can be threatening to those who benefit from maintaining the current system. Sigma males are driven by a desire for genuine understanding and improvement, rather than simply going along with popular opinion or societal trends. In their willingness to challenge norms and explore unconventional ideas may unsettle others who are uncomfortable with change or uncertainty. Number two, Sigma males are known for their straightforward honesty and refusal to sugarcoat the truth. They value direct communication over diplomacy, which can be refreshing yet unsettling for those who prefer tactful interactions. Sigma men prioritize honesty and clarity in their communications, believing that truth should not be compromised for the sake of politeness. This blunt honesty may provoke defensiveness or discomfort in others who are unused to such straightforwardness. Some may view Sigma males as confrontational or insensitive, but they are simply committed to authenticity and integrity in their interactions. Number one, Sigma males are notoriously difficult to control or manipulate due to their intelligence and independence. They see through attempts to deceive or influence them, which can frustrate those accustomed to getting their way. Sigma men stand firm in their principles and beliefs, refusing to compromise their autonomy for the sake of conformity. This steadfastness can make them targets for criticism from those who prefer compliance and obedience. Their reluctance to follow the crowd or submit to peer pressure is often misunderstood as stubbornness or rebelliousness. But Sigma males prioritize personal freedom and critical thinking above all else. Thank you for your attention. You can now become a member of the channel by clicking the join button under this video.